in this video we are going to discuss program status word that is nothing but psw register of 8051 microcontroller it is also called as a flag register or status register it is an 8 bit register out of 8 bits 4 bits are called as a conditional flag meaning that they indicate some conditions that result after an instruction is executed whenever alu of 8051 performs some operation it may generate some conditions which should be indicated to the cpu so such conditions will be reflected by this status register then next two bits are used for the register bank selection in ram memory organization we have seen that 8051 has a four different register banks but out of four only one register bank is active at a time so to select one bank from those four register banks these two bits are used and remaining two bits are unused bits this is the structure of 8 bit psw register out of these 8 bits we have seen that four are conditional flags these four conditional flags are cy that is carry flag ac which is auxiliary carry flag ov overflow flag and p that is a parity flag other than these four conditional flags there are two bits for selection of register bank these two bits are nothing but rs1 and rs0 by using these two bits we can select one of the register bank from the four register banks which are present in the ram memory and remaining two bits are unused bits which are represented by the dash mark each bit in this psw register can be accessed by using the register name and its bit position for example the parity bit is at the zeroth position in the psw register so it is represented as a psw.0 overflow flag which is present at the bit number 2 position so it is represented as a psw.2 carry flag which is the msb bit so it is represented as the psw.7 now we will see each bit in detail one by one starting with the first bit that is cy bit which is the carry flag this flag is set whenever there is a carry out from the d7 bit this flag bit is affected after an 8 bit addition or subtraction and it can also be set to the 1 or 0 directly by using the instruction such as set bit c or clear c c indicates the carry and set bit will always set the value to the 1 so carry bit is set to the 1 and clr is set the value of carry bit to the 0 so we can say that carry flag gets affected after an 8 bit addition and subtraction generates a carry from d7 bit to understand this in better way let's take one example of addition of 2 8 bit numbers so if you add these 2 8 bit numbers we'll get the result somewhat like this okay. so this addition has generated carry two times one carry is generated after the addition of d0 bits which is this carry and second carry is generated after the addition of d7 bits so as per the definition whenever there is a carry from d7 bit that time the cy bit will get set to the one so if alu perform the addition of these two numbers in the psw register cy bit will get set to the one automatically now next bit is ac that is auxiliary carry flag if there is a carry out from d3 bit to the d4 during the add or subtract operation this bit is set to the one otherwise it is cleared to the zero so the condition for auxiliary carry flag to become one is carry out from d3 bit to the d4 that is it gives carry from lower nibble to the upper nibble 
this bit is used by the instruction that performs the BCD arithmetic. Generally, auxiliary carry is used for the correction of a BCD number. We know that whenever we perform the addition of two BCD numbers, there is the possibility of generating the result larger than 9. That means addition of two BCD numbers can generate the invalid BCD. So for correction of invalid BCD into the valid BCD, we have to add 6 into the result. Similarly, microcontroller uses this auxiliary carry bit for conversion of invalid BCD into the valid BCD. Let's see one example to understand the concept of auxiliary carry. Now, if ALU wants to perform the addition of these two numbers, so if these two numbers are added, we'll get the result somewhat like this. Okay. Now, addition of these two numbers has generated carry three times. First carry, second and third. Now, this first carry is the result of addition of D0 bit. This second carry is the result of addition of D3 bit. And this third carry is the result of addition of D7 bit. Now, as per the concept of carry flag, we know that whenever there is a carry out from D7 bit, the CY bit is set to the 1. So this is the bit which set the carry flag 1. Now, similar to this, as per the concept of auxiliary carry, whenever there is a carry out from D3 bit to the D4, that is nothing but our this carry. So whenever this bit is 1, the auxiliary carry will be set to the 1. So when addition of these two numbers are performed, carry flag and auxiliary carry flag are set to the 1. So status of our PSW register is somewhat like this. Next bit is parity flag. The parity flag reflects number of ones in the accumulator only. We know that whenever ALU performs some operation, the result is by default stored into the accumulator register. So this parity bit indicates how many number of ones in the result present in the accumulator. If accumulator contains odd number of ones, then P bit is equals to 1, which indicates odd parity. So if my accumulator is having odd number of ones, this parity bit is set to the 1 to indicate odd parity. Similarly, if accumulator contains an even number of ones, then P is equals to 0, which indicates even parity. So if my accumulator is having even number of ones, this bit will be 0 to indicate even parity of a result. Let's take one example to understand the parity bit. Suppose CPU wants to perform the addition of these two numbers. If we perform the addition of these two numbers, we'll get the result like this. This result will get stored into the accumulator register. Whenever the result gets stored into the accumulator register, CPU will check how many number of ones in the result. If you see here, there are 5 number of 1s in the result. That means odd number of 1s are present in the result. So as per the definition of parity bit, if there are odd number of 1s, the parity bit will be set to the 1 to indicate odd parity. Similarly, if my result generates even number of 1s, this parity bit will be set to the 0 to indicate the even parity. Next bit is overflow flag. This flag is set to 1 whenever the result of sign number operation is too large, causing the higher order bit to overflow into the sign bit. In general, carry bit is used to detect error in unsigned arithmetic operation. Similarly, overflow flag is used to detect error in sign arithmetic operation. This flag is set in either of two conditions. Those two conditions are First condition, there is a carry from D6 bit to the D7, but no carry out from D7 bit. And second condition is, there is a carry from D7 bit, 
but no carry from D6 to the D7. So in these two cases, overflow flag can be set to the one. In this way, we have seen four conditional flags, carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, overflow flag, and parity flag. Next, we'll see RS1 and RS0. These are the register bank select bits. RS0 is bank select bit 0. RS1 is bank select bit 1. So by setting the value of these two bits, we can select one of the register bank from the RAM memory. So this, uh, this is the table for the possible values of RS1 and RS0 and which bank has been selected. So if RS1 and RS0 are 0, 0, register bank 0 is selected. 0, 1, register bank 1 is selected. 1, 0, register bank 2 is selected. And 1, 1, register bank 3 is selected. So this is about the program status word of 8051 microcontroller.